Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. In the last episode, we wrapped up the rest of the side quests, meaning we finished diving through the deep dungeon. We got all the treasures that we, well, not every single one of them, but we went through and tried to get all the treasures. Beat the boss, got a 13th uh, Zodiac Stone, what the hell is that all about? I don't know. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to go to the end of the game. Now, we're probably not going to beat the game in today's episode. It's kind of a long situation. But before we do that, we need to do one thing. Because I've been neglecting this for a while, and I've been meaning to do it. I need to look at the Brave story one last time. Just to kind of look through it, show you guys what we've seen, show the treasures we found, look through the people, see what kind of situation they're in, see who's dead, see who's not. You know. We got Ramza. He's the youngest. He does his thing. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we don't really need to read his. Delita doing his thing, working with Lavelia, trying to save the world. We know, we know. Get Ovelia, of course, doing her thing, working with Delita, trying to save the world. We know, we know. Alma, currently captured by motherfucking uh, Vormav. Hopefully she's still alive out there somewhere. Zalbag, dead! Yeah, he's officially dead now. Fights you as a servant of Lukavi, but is defeated. Dead. Killed my own brother, but that's only because they turned him against me. It wasn't my fault. Dystarg, also dead. Sucks to be him. He actually was not killed in an ambush by Zalbag. He was killed by me after he got rid of Zalbag. But, you know, to each his own. Actually, Zalbag did finish him off, didn't he? Before he turned into a Lukavi. Also, Larg, dead. Murdered by Dystar. We saw that happen. Oh, we saw it happen. Goltana, dead. Murdered by Delita. Assassinated by the scheme of Night Delita in the church. Indeed, that happened. Ornus, alive. Five years old now. Um, somewhere. It's weird that you never actually get to see the queen and the and the prince. Because Ravelia is still alive, too. Out there. Yeah, she, apparently she's in Bethel Garrison. That's all we know. So, it's weird. Um, Omdoria, super dead. We already know why. That's he, pretty much his death caused the Lion War as soon as he died. Funeral, dead. Never really got to see that guy until we finally went to the church and we found him dead. So, that was cool. Algus. Dead as fuck. We killed him hell long ago. Gafgarian, super dead as fuck. Killed him hell long ago too. Agrias, not dead. On our team, still alive. If she dies in your team and you let her die forever, I think it will actually say she's dead. Or anybody else that joins your team. Uh, Orlando, another example of somebody who's not dead. On my team, kicking ass, doing my thing. He's currently with you, as it says. Olan, not dead. Around out there somewhere. Delita must have left him alive because who knows? Apparently he was in, he's in the dungeon. As the man knowing the truth. Interesting. Zalmo. Dead. Whooped his ass. He wanted some in Zeltania. He got some. Delita was not about to let that motherfucker leave. Simon. Dead. Rip Simon. Sorry, dude. He died during the whole Virgo situation in Orbone earlier. Beowulf. Not dead. On our team. Doing our thing. He's hanging out. That's cool. Along with Weegraf. Okay, I thought it was going to go to Reese after that. Anyway, we graph, he dead. He went crazy. He turned into Velius. He died. Killed his ass at Rio Vans for sure. There's Reese. I'm not sure we graph, why we graph kind of cuts that off a little bit. Anyway, here's Reese Dular, the sweetheart of Night Beowulf. Blah, blah, blah. Used to be a dragon, now not. Balmafula. We almost forgot about her. Hey, she's alive as far as we know. That's good. Even though we totally saw her attack Delita, I'm surprised. Wait, what did it say? Watching his movements and listening to his thoughts, she is unable to draw her sword. But in the cutscene, it sounded like she did not survive, so maybe she did? I don't know. Draclaw? Dead! Killed his bitch ass when he turned into a Lukavi. Rafa? On my team. Only 18 and on my team. Malak? Also on my team. Elmdor? Dead as fuck! He's been dead for a while, but then we had to kill him for sure when he turned into a Lukavi at his, at his castle. Barrington, super dead. He died a long time ago. Got thrown off a thrown off a roof. Yeah. This inf action infuriates Warmap and he is killed. Except for that's not how he died. He got died he got died by getting thrown off a cliff or the top of a house from our mansion or castle or whatever it was. Mustadio, on my team. He's doing alright. I've been using him a lot, you've seen in the Deep Dungeon and others. We've been using him for a while. I've actually used him more in this playthrough than I've ever used him in any of my playthroughs, I gotta say. Like legit used him. But I think that time might be coming to an end today, guys. Anyway, here's his dad, Bezrodio. 
Rudvich, super dead. Draclaw killed his ass a long time ago. Celia, we had to murder her. Son of a bitch. And Lede. Both of them had to get murdered because they were on Elmdor's team and Elmdor had to go. Ajora, apparently that's like Jesus Christ. I don't know much about him or her, it. There's Vormav, he's still out there somewhere. He's the one we need to go, we're at, we're going after at Orbone right now. Rofel is his little homie. Wolf, Wolf, Rofel, Wood, Wadring, Wodring, I don't know. Temple Knight of there, and the Lord of Vormav, he was the Egros, Formalized to do Dire Strike, one of few men that. So he's not. There's not much to know about him. He just exists. And he's on Warmap's team. Is Lude. He dead. Killed by his own dad. Didn't even get to kill him myself. Cleishin. Temple Knight. Knight. Expert Magician. Graduating at the top of Garland Academy. Cleishin had no doubts. During the Temple Knight. Solidifying his belief in the God. So he's just some knight dude. Cleishin Droa. Again, another character that just kind of exists. Like Rofel. Bulk. He dead. Um... Yeah, we killed him in Bed Desert. He didn't survive past that point, Mr. Kefka rip off himself. Meliadul on my team. And when I say Kefka rip off about Bulk, I just mean the fact that he tried to poison the battlefield. That that's the only thing I'm talking about. I'm not talking about his personality. He's definitely not as cool as Kefka. Tata, super dead. She died a long time ago, and that's why Delita is the way he is now. Period, end of story. Ballbane's dead. Dice Star killed him. The end. Gustav, dead. These are all the Death Corps people we killed earlier. Maluda, Galagros. Well, we didn't kill all of them, but they died. Derevon, he's the guy that teaches this thing in the uh, tutorial, which I haven't even ever done. And Eladibs, oh shit, Eladibs is actually on this list? Wow, I didn't even know he get added to this list. He's dead. Let's read him, because I don't even know shit about him. Great magician who fought against the Romanda army during the height of the Fifty Year War. He was essential in the kingdom's victory, using many black magic and summon magic that he studied from old teachings. Disappeared during the recapture of Riovanes, and it is Lusa Luzukavi who was in Deep Dungeon, actually the hero Eladips. It is a mystery. Interesting. I don't think I've ever read that, or if I have, it's been a long-ass time. Anyway, and last but not least, we have Al's Lamb, the dude right here. Not dead. Okay. Um, the other thing I should note is I did a bunch more um, propositions off-screen just to do them, mostly just to fill in some more of these unexplored lands and treasures just to show some of them off to you guys. Again, I don't have a lot of them, but here's the ones I have. I don't remember which ones I had and which ones I just got. Uh, the Forbidden Land of Eureka. The Floating Castle. The Crystal Tower. Again, a lot of these are references to old games. Some of them are kind of mistranslated in their name, but they are referencing old Final Fantasy games. Ronkin Ruins. Yep. The Magic Train. Everybody knows the Magic Train. Come on. Semite Falls. Yep. Everything should be familiar. Treasures. Alright, which ones did I have before? I'm pretty sure I had the Beetle Charm last time I showed you guys. Tobacco Pipe I might have had, but I don't remember. Black Cat? I don't know. I don't remember what I... Some of the stuff I've picked up a long, like a while ago when I did some props off screen, but I don't think I ever showed you guys any of the treasures. And then we got the Yurgivog. Yurgivog? I don't know. Some kind of marionette shit. We got the Red Materia. Uh, yeah. Uh, they raise skills of whoever possessed them. We know all about that if you played Final Fantasy VII, for sure. Blue Materia, same kind of thing. Rat Tail, ooh, the Rat Tail from Final Fantasy One, classic. It loves your skills and power if you take them to Bahamut. The Wild is a course of history record, I guess. I don't know, some kind of book. Record of the life of a certain lady. What lady would that be? Is she on the cover? That actually might be her on the cover. Who's that supposed to be, I wonder? Hmm. I'm sure it's a reference to something. Book of Anavia. Record of Kusu Castle in Anavia. Okay. It is the story of three girls? Oh, maybe this is a reference to the, um... I doubt it. Say reference to the, uh, the Mages Sisters, maybe? I actually don't know. M Machine Gun. I think this is just a Final Fantasy, you know, machine gun reference. I think. Minu Orb fuck that's supposed to be soul of minu i'm sure that's a mistranslation of minu is probably supposed to be somebody maybe it's supposed to be minwu from final fantasy 2 i bet you that is what it's supposed to be man tarot of ben i don't know who ben's supposed to be parasite tree world tree you you could draw so that is the weirdest fucking translation of yggdrasil i've ever seen yugu do Rossel. Holy crap, that's ugly. It's supposed to be Yggdrasil. 
and it's Ugo Dra Ugo Ugudo Drasu. What the fuck? Who even? Who even? Anyway, Saint Elmo's fire, fancy looking. Got the Germanic strips. Which wait, I shouldn't have these. Didn't I give these to fucking? I don't even. I technically don't have these anymore. How come they're here? They should be gone. I gave them to Vormant. Anyway, and then last but not least, here's all the gems we have. Let's just recap what we have. We have the one from Weegraph, which is Ares. We got the one from Mustadio. That's like the first one we had, which was Taurus. We got the one from Killing Elmdor, which was Gemini. We got the one for killing the Steel Giant in the side quest. So we got Cancer. We got the one from TG Sid, a.k.a. Orlando, when we uh, you know, basically got him our team. He gave us Libra. Scorpio we picked up after we killed Dracula all those days ago. Sagittarius we got from Melia Duel when she joined. Capricorn we got after we beat the shit out of my bro when he wanted a piece. Aquarius I found in Goland when we did the whole deep down dive and found the Holy Dragon. Pisces we got from Alma dropping it after she got it from Islud dying. So basically this is Islud's. And Serpentarius which is the 13th Zodiac Stone added to the 12 original Zodiac signs of represents a snake acquired from beating elatives. So, if you count it, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 of the main stones, and then we have 11 if you count this one. So we're missing Leo, and we're missing... Virgo? No. Yeah, Virgo. Leo and Virgo. Those are the two we're missing. We've heard of the Virgo Stone. In fact, the Virgo Stone is quite important, if you remember. In fact, wasn't it the reason why Simon died? That was the Virgo Stone thing, right? Yep, the Virgo Stone that we got at the Orbone Monastery. That's the stone we're missing. So, that's that's the one that Vormav has that, he's, that like interacted with Alma when Alma got close, if you remember. So anyway, I just wanted to go through that stuff. I know it took a little bit of time, but you know what? These battles are really not going to take me that long. I am way too overleveled, way too OP. My team is ready to go. I got all these awesome weapons and shit and armor. This is not going to take long. Even though it's a bunch of battles, these battles themselves shouldn't take long. Unless I run into some roadblocks. But you know what? Let's fucking do it, dude. I'm excited. I'm fucking excited. Let's go. Underground book storage, fourth floor. Let's go. We've only been as deep as the third floor, if you remember. So we're going fourth floor and deeper. How many floors of books does this place goddamn have? I don't know. Anyway, so this squad is going to be OP as fuck. We're going all out ownage. This is the squad we're going to the end of the game with right here. Well, maybe. I may swap out Melia Duel for some of the last couple battles, maybe, depending on what enemies actually are there. Um, but for now, this is the squad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Roll out, roll out. I'm excited. I'm ready to beat this game, yo. Again, we're not going to do it in this video. But maybe I'll sit down and beat this whole game right now, though. Because I want to, and I really love this game, though. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have the desire to just keep going once I finish whatever I'm going to put in this video. Anyway, for now, we're working our way down, and we got to fight some dudes. Stand, stand guard. I'll go after Vormav. Yes, sir. Alright, so... Rofel is there, but he gone. And thus, here we are. What's in this underground library? Well, we'll find out soon enough. But for now, we just gotta fight some regular ass enemies. No bosses, just a bunch of dudes. This should be pretty straightforward. I saw knights, I saw a ninja, I think, down there. Let's see what else we got. Oh, no, maybe it wasn't a ninja, it was a bunch of monks, right? There was no ninja, sorry. I was thinking of ninjas, but it's monks. Two monks, an archer, and three knights? Pacha! Y'all just, y'all wish, y'all wish you had more than that. All right, check this out, dude. My ninja, okay, by the way, we switched everything back to best setup, by the way. So here, I'll just show you as we go. I got the two swords on my ninja still that I picked up in the deep dungeon. I swapped the secret clothes from Mustadio over to him, and I put the bracer back on. He still went first, in case you didn't notice. Time to get wrecked, dude. This bat. Oh my god. Who needs two hits when you can kill him in one? Shit is over, bitch. Shit is over. Oh my god. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be a massacre. This is gonna be the massacre at Orbone all over again. It's gonna suck to be all of these knights though. Boop. Oh she. So one good thing is I didn't use Orlando or Meliodul in any of the deep dungeons, so they didn't get super overleveled. 
um, comparatively to, you know, where Ramzed, my ninja, and even Beowulf are. I don't think Beowulf's super overleveled either. He didn't do a whole ton of shit down there. He's a little, you know, he's a little strong, but he's not super OP. Um, yeah, and, and plus Beowulf is for status effects. He's not even the OP guy in the first place. The good thing is, though, is I have all these awesome swords for all of my knights now, and I wanted to just make use of all this shit that I picked up, you know? I don't know, right now I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there. I'm not even going to worry about it. We're just going to kind of fly through these first couple battles, I think, because they're just like this. We're just fighting a couple groups of enemies. Nothing particularly store-related here. We're just trying to work our way down after Vormav right now. I should be a little wary. I can still get my ass beat by some knights and a monk if I'm not careful. But I'm not particularly scared. We got... Dude, we have Orlando. We brought God with us. We should be fine. If God is here, everything will be fine. Yeah, I would say the only party member I have that's going to be kind of slow and may feel kind of useless is Meliodul because she's so slow. and she Because she's the one that's like lower level than everyone else. Don't I have ignore height? I do. What the hell kind of movement is this? Okay, let's jump on this archer. Boop. I'm going to fuck these. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. I thought she could move hella far for a sec there. That was weird. Anyway, let's uh let's hell cry this guy, he did. Hell cry this guy, he did. Say goodbye to your weapon and your life. And your life. <laughs> Alright, ninja boy. Um, I'm just gonna have him take out this Take out this monk. I don't wanna deal with these monks right now. I ain't dealing with your shit monk. Alright, this guy. Gonna go fuck this knight up over here. Why you gotta be? Why you gotta run into the corner, you little knight fuck? Huh? Why you gotta run away, huh? Can't even get you from here because you ran away like a little fuck. You ran away like a little fuck. And I can't get you. And Archer dead. God damn. So yeah, I've made the decision, by the way, if you couldn't already tell, that I'm gonna roll with Ramza being the lancer for the rest of the game. I was thinking about going to the samurai because I got that the best samurai sword in the game from Deep Dungeon. And I, I don't know. I, I, I do like Samurai a lot, but I don't know if I like it enough to give up the Lancer, which I love more. I just, I have a nostalgic love for the Lancer, man. I really do. Anyway, this battle's about to be over already, man. Shit's about to be over already, son. Step your game up, players. Step your game up. This shit's over. Yeah, all of my guys, by the way, have bracers. Um, I think all of them. I think even Meliodul has a bracer. So everyone's bracered up. It's pretty absurd. Everybody's got ridiculous strength, and it's not even fair. Are you really trying to steal Meliodul's heart right now? Are you really? Is that really what your plan is, bro? <sighs> Question your motives, sir. Meliodul ain't no one of your shit. Ain't no one no one of your shit. She about to hell cry your ass, though. Get out of here. Get out of here. And battle over. I told you this shit was going to be quick. Whoo, this group is too good. Leave this to me. I'm counting on you, Rofel. Fell cow dead and die, Zord. I'm for you. I am the one with the time god. Open this gate. I won't let you go! <laughs> that sounds like a love song to me. I just can't let you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, that battle took me uh, less than 10 minutes. That is absurd. But it's fine. Even with the quickness that battle went, we have a lot more battles to go. That's why I know this won't be just one video. Because between the rest of the battles and the, you know, the end game stuff that, you know, cutscenes and whatever else happens, credits and all that shit, it's gonna take more than one video. Like, guaranteed. So in that case, we push on. Again, make sure it's a separate save in case you fuck up and you're not strong enough to beat the game yet. I didn't. I should have stressed that before I left that screen. But if you're following along, separate saves between what you, the one you made before you walked into Orbone and the one while you're in Orbone, at least have two saves. Do not overwrite that save. You will need it. Trust me. I've done it. Um, I didn't get. I mean, once I learned about the separate saves for Rio Veins, I never really did it again. But just know that you should do that. I should show you my equipment real quick, just to show you how everybody's set up. So, uh, Ramza has all the good stuff that we saw last time we uh, set him up after Deep Dungeon. Again, there's the ninja. 
Uh, Beowulf, I put that Chaos Blade on him and I left it. Um, and Sprint Shoes I left on only because he won't need... He won't really need the, uh, the Bracer. Because he doesn't really use strength too much. He's more about the, the, the status effects. So I just wanted to make him faster with the Sprint Shoes. Uh, as for Orlando, back to having the Bracer, Excalibur, and the Ragnarok I put on Melia Duel. Because it's pretty damn strong and I'm using her, so why not? Plus she's got the Bracer, so... Keep, make, keep her up with everyone else. Even though she's 42, which is quite behind everyone else, she'll still be a force to be reckoned with. Because she's a beast, y'all! She's a beast. Um, I'm probably never going to use this guy. I already explained that, didn't I? Byblos, we got him last episode. Benched. Sorry, bro. You're too late in the game. Same goes for Cloud. If he wasn't level 1, I'd level him up and use him, but goddamn, is he useless at this point. Alright, guys. Let's do battle number 2, shall we? I'm excited about it. I mean, it sounded like Rofel and Vormav were only one one room away, so maybe we'll catch up with them pretty quick. Maybe. Maybe. One can hope. I don't know what the layouts of any of these levels are, by the way. I remember, like, having to go through all these battles, but I don't remember what we fight in each battle, like, with the order of what we're fighting. I know, like, some of the bosses and stuff we're going to fight down here, but I don't remember what order they're in. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine at this point, like, which we're doing next. So anyway, fifth floor of the underground, and there's Rofel. You can't stop me, bro. He's got mages galore, though. Hello. I've been waiting for you, Ramza. That's far enough. Rest eternally beneath this monastery. He said monastery with a capital M. Did you see that? Did you see that? Anyway, so we're going to take on Rofel, guys. He's not going to get away from us. First time, actually, second time we fought him. The last time we fought him was in Morand, the church. We got to fight him in the church, and uh, well, he didn't get too much there, did he? No, none of them did. It was a one turn battle. Um, I guess I'll throw some Yagyu darkness. Knock him in the hole, knock him in the hole. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Anyway, this battle is going to be fast as shit, too. Did it say defeat all enemies, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. It didn't say defeat Rofel, did it? Either way, I'm going to kill all these fuckers. Oh my god, the crit hit, though. Good lord. I'm killing all these fucks. So yeah, you'll notice the layout of this battle feels a little different. It's got these black holes. They're literally holes you can't walk on. I think if you float, you might be able to walk over them. Oh, also, watch out for this guy. He will break your armor. Shit! There goes my secret clothes. Son of a bitch. I forgot he was that kind of knight. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks, man. I mean, the secret clothes are nice. I guess I can just put the thing that makes him strong again. Or just put the regular black clothes back on. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going back. If I lose something during this situation, I lose something. That's period end of story that's just gonna be how it goes man what am I gonna do now I gotta heal I gotta heal my ninja right now he's dying but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to him I don't know if there's much I can do to save my ninja right now I don't know what you can do right now I don't know what you can do right now I don't know what you can do right now I don't know what you can do right now can you heal I guess he's gonna heal the wizard because I fucked his shit up. Wow, whole oh, 40 dude. That that summoner man made him made himself worth it. Alright. And now oh I can't even reach him. Fucking lame. Um I can't reach anyone. Shit. I'm gonna jump on Rafael then. Fuck it. Start doing some damage to his ass. Oh by the way he's not I don't think this is one of those battles where Rafael will run away if you do enough damage. I'm pretty sure you have to actually defeat him here, so just mental note that if you didn't already assume that. Okay, so he's just doing fire, but it's still gonna kill me because I'm already dying. Man! I'm so sad right now. I should have just jumped on the wizard. Why did I jump on Rofel? I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I should have just jumped on the guy. Anyway, there's the Titan summon. Did I show did have we seen the Titan summon? I feel like maybe Velius used it on me when I was in Rio Veins. Did that happen? Or did I dream that up? I don't know. I don't remember now. Either way, 
I'm just gonna rock through this battle. I can't believe I lost my secret clothes, man. I completely forgot. I need to kill Rofel quick if he's gonna break all my shit. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I should just kill him quick. Not kill him slow, kill him quick. Wow. I'm slowed when I had haste? That's no bueno. Well, um, you know what? I'm just gonna revive my ninja. Fuck that. Or am I? I would actually love to don't act this motherfucker. Zero percent chance though. Can I sleep him? Zero. Can I confuse him? Can I do anything to him? Silence? Silence could work, but I don't even want to. Can I silence this guy? Okay. Uh, can I zombie this guy? I don't know what to do, man. I could probably drain him, right? And that's the only thing I can do is damage him. Well, in that case, well, what if I blind him? Now, all his sword attacks are going to be 100% chance, though. That's what he's going to keep doing. He's going to keep breaking all my shit. Sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. I totally should have jumped on the wizard now that I think about it, but oh well. Don't break any of my good shit, please. Wow, dude, he's going to break my helmet, too? He just broke my helmet. Good thing I have a bunch of those. None of my other guys are wearing thief hats right now. Everybody's wearing fucking armor helmets because they're all a bunch of knights and lancer. Fuck you. Fuck -a you! I'm going to fuck -a you up. You know I'm going to fuck -a you up, right? Oh, he's doing haste, huh? Miss! Really? Rafael's hasted now? Fuck it, really. Oh no, he's gonna whack Orlando with 60 damage. I'm so scared. What, what fucking staff was that? Hello? Just a gold staff. It looked hella fancy for a sec there. Weird. Um, I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna hit the summoner. Whew, he's gonna die. I didn't think it was gonna do that much damage. Oh, hell yeah. I thought I was just gonna, like, hurt him a lot with Camellia Duel, because I don't know how much Camellia Duel can actually do, but damn, girl, damn. Damn, girl. Oh, shit, we're actually gonna talk? This feeling, same as when I fought Celia and Lede. You are not human. No, I am not. I have arisen above humans. I have obtained eternal life with the help of Vormav's power. <laughs> you can't understand the joy. What are you trying to do? What do you want? Do you really want to know, Ramza? If you do, then you'll have to beat me. That is, if you can. Watch me, bro. Watch me. Watch it happen, dude. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go over here. I'm trying to get in like a position where I can just jump on whoever. I'm not gonna try to jump on Rofel. He's already too fast with his haste. He literally got his turn as I Oh no no no, don't break her shit. Don't break her shit, bro! Bro! That's her armor, right? Man. I don't know how much extra armor I bought. I might have only bought like one set of extra armor. Which is not gonna work out well for me. The only person I don't want him to break the armor of is Ramsey, so it's fine right now. But I'm just a little bit annoyed by the whole situation even existing because I forgot about Rofel's skill skill abilities. Also, why? Oh, Orlando's slow. I was just going to question why Orlando's taking so long to get a turn. I forgot. Damn it, Ramsey's not going to land in time. Boo. Boo. Ninja's going to get a turn, though. Say night night to the wizard. Say night night, wizard boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He's gonna go. Oh, no, oh, oh, no. There goes her helmet, too. Fuck me. Goodbye, helmet and armor. Fucking cool. Again, it's a good thing I bought. I don't think I bought extras for her, though. Shit. It's gonna suck. She's just gonna have one one step down on the armor. Dude, how is it not Orlando's turn yet? Like seriously. How is it not his turn yet? You gotta be kidding me. I also should have made it a point to make Beowulf learn X potion. I don't know, Beowulf might end up being the guy I stop using down here. I might start I might go back to using my wizard just to fucking have more O penis. Not penis. O penis. Get your head out of the gutter. 
Also, fuck that time mage for being a bitch. For being such a baby back bitch. Alright, so we need to stay out of range of this fuck face. I'm just gonna stay back here and wait. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually do some screaming. I swear to god, if he runs up on Ramza and breaks any of his shit, I'm gonna be pissed. Ramza is the one person I don't want shit to break. Everyone else, they lose their armor, I'm not gonna be that sad. In fact, I'm gonna throw my ninja over here just to kinda... Actually, that's a bad spot to put him. Let me put him somewhere where Beowulf can actually go revive him. Um, yeah. I'm alright with putting my ninja in harm's way now. He fucking got all his shit broken, so it's like, who cares anymore? I'm only worried if this guy can break weapons also. Can he break weapons also? Shit! He can break weapons also. Shit! Oh my god, dude. This is horrible. Am I really gonna live with the consequences of this? I'm kinda sad right now. He basically just made my ninja, like, half as good as he'll be in, the, in this fucking... Well, I mean... I'm just annoyed, man. I should've just went straight for him. All his friends are... Oh my god. Oh my god. Could you just cut it out? Like, seriously. Are you gonna break both swords? Now he's got no swords. All the swords are broken. All the work I put in. Gone. Gone in an instant. Just gone, gone, gone. Also, Melia Duel is about to die. I need to revive this bitch, like, now. Can I jump on Rafael from here? I can. I can finish him if I, if I get my turn. I need Orlando to revive Maelia Duel, because she's about to die right now. Oh, this is not going well, guys. I'm sorry that I'm just horrible at this game, apparently. Fuck me. I, 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 okay, well, there goes fucking douchebag. But fuck, man! My ninja just got destroyed. I'm so sad right now. I can't die here. I haven't finished my duty. Oh, so he doesn't die here. Ramza, I invite you to hell. So he doesn't die here? Ferith Chaos, Devanda, Zoeda Rebdofelio. I am the one together with the time god Zomala who can open this gate. Dijon Mustard! No? Well, this is fun. So now we can see what he, what this is all about. They're opening a gate. And, oh, this is fun. so much fun. And now we're all gone, guys. Now we're all gone. But the battle's over. So there you go. Congratulations! You've been warped to another dimension! A sad dimension where you don't have a ninja who has any of the things that he had equipped a minute ago. I'm very sad right now. He broke everything on my ninja. I am so salty. I'm making a separate save just in case. Also, there's cutscenes down here. Hold on. I don't know. Fell's not looking too good, but okay. It's just me. It's just me. Hello. Where is this? Welcome to Murad, Death City. Now that you're here, you can never return. All we have to do now is destroy that entrance. Watch out! Yep. And now we're stuck here forever. You can never leave, dude. Ever. Go on. Your sister's waiting. So, uh, yeah. Alma. This should be fun. So Rafael does technically die there, it's just he had to live for a moment to open the gate, summon us with him, and get us stuck down here forever. So that's cool. I'm a little upset right now, if you can't tell. Fuck me. Right in the goat ass. Like, seriously, dude. Wow, Rofel, you really ruined this for me, man. You ruined it! You didn't ruin everything. 
He just ruined my ninja. Now I'm like, I don't even know what to do right now. I guess we're going to go back to how the ninja used to be set up. Yeah, because I don't have any other good weapons for him. Alright, ninja's going back to the old the old ways, which is martial arts. I mean, he still has the punch arts anyway, so... Let's just do it. The martial arts, and he can have, he can have the thief hat back on. And I guess black costume's what we're going to use. Unless I want to do power sleeve. Nah, I'm going to stick with the more HP. Black costume gives him 100 versus 70? Yeah. Let's stick with the 100. Um, plus he'll be immune to stop, which is always good. He, who knows if there's anybody going to do stop in the next section. I don't remember, but... Whatever. Anyway, my, my ninja will still be a beast. He just won't be the same kind of beast he was a second ago with two swords. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Oh, shit. You broke all her armor, too. Fuck, I almost forgot. Well, carabini mail and circle it for her. Fuck me. I really did not plan well. I forgot about Rofel, dude. He ruined all of my plans. He basically just made it so... I or made me remember I should have bought more extra armor. Anyways. Alright. So, I'm going to send these three over here. And I'm gonna just do the exact same thing I've been doing. This battle, apparently my team gets split up. I Fuck if I know how or why or what we're doing right now, but let's just do it. Again, if I run into one where I'm like, huh, I should do this differently, then I'll probably die and do it differently. I don't know. Well, as Rafael said, welcome to Muron Death City. Let's keep going, shall we? D diving deeper down in the depths of hell is always fun. What the hell? Ninjas and Samurais and Time Ages and somebody I... Oh, no, that's Cletian, isn't it? It is. So Rafael's been defeated. Then, unless I defeat you here, I can't face Rafael. Come on! Well, sir, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You're going to die. So I'm pretty sure he's a mage, so I don't have to worry about him breaking my shit, I don't think. I'm more concerned about these ninjas and these Samurais right now, which... Well, I'm more worried about the ninja, really, if you think about it. Fuck, really? Right off the bat, just gonna throw a 45%er at me and it's gonna hit me? Cool. Super cool. Block that shit. He threw a rune blade? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Bruh, you can't be just throwing swords. What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Real quick, double check. Let me look at you. What do you have? You have the Mace of Zeus, which is actually really sick. I'm... A little sad that I don't have one of those myself. What does it do? Magic plus one only. So there's nothing really that crazy about it, huh? Well, then I'm not that scared. Anyway, he has all magic spells, but that's about it. And he can fly. Oh, that's fun. Alright, magic spells. And he defends against magic, so he has good magic defense. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Alright, well, in that case, let's just start doing my thing with my ninja. Actually, I don't even think I have to move, do I? Y'all about to get fucked up. Y'all y'all, y'all gonna get fucked up. Y'all getting earth slashed. And then I'm gonna back up. Spread out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna start off by killing these ninjas as quickly as possible, and then we'll worry about everybody else. Good night. Ninjas are going first. Bring on the Time Mage. Oh, the Time Mage didn't even cast a spell at all, really? That's interesting. I fully expect him to cast a spell. Okay. He's going for my goddamn ninja, you son of a bitch. Um, can we silence him? That'd be hilarious. Yes, 100% chance. Silence that fool. How are you going to have a guy who has all the magic spells in the game? be susceptible to silence. Like, he should just be immune to silence. Honestly, he should be. That just made this battle way easier. <laughs> oh, God. What? Kikumoji does that? I didn't even know that. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that was a straight line attack. Now I know. Now I know. And apparently this one heals? Or, oh, Kiyomori. Isn't that the one that does the... Yep. Shell and protect. Yep. Yuppers. Yibbity yup. Okay, so we're going to jump on... I can't jump on the ninja. No matter who I jump on, they're fucking dead. I'm going to jump on the guy who just went last. So, most likely I will hit him. Alright, now, the rest of my squad's going to come in from the side and have a good 
field day on their asses. Can't reach him though, can I? Nope. Oh shit, I forgot. What's his face hit me with goddamn. Oh, she, I should have. I should have worked on chemists for Orlando, and Meliodul and Beowulf before I went to this battle, or just went to the Orbone Monastery. I really went in here hand, with myself handicapped and not being high enough, like as high level and high setup and having like quality setups before I really walked through here. I should have prepped this a little bit better, honestly, if I'm going to be serial with you guys. But I think that just handicapping myself by just going in kind of willy nilly is helping this make this helping make this a little more interesting than it otherwise would be. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are more interested in this just because of the way I've been doing it. Um, you can let me know if it's if it's not interesting. If you feel like I'm being an idiot, but even in my idiocy, we're still pulling out victories because we got God with us, so it's all good. Anyway, sucks to be Cletian. Can't even do it. Oh no, he's gonna tackle Beowulf with four damage. Whatever will I do? Alright, Beowulf. What's up with these fucking time mages not even doing magic? What, what the fuck? Why even have time magic? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Um. Can I sleep mode him? 52. I mean, I can just silence him too, right? 55? That's not a. Very good chance. Berserk him. 50 cents. 50 cent. 50 percent. Got him. If you berserk a mage, all they can do is attack you. Kind of pointless for a mage, if you know what I'm saying. And... Oh, I thought that was my jump. That's my jump. Good night, samurai number one. Alright, so one samurai dead, one time mage dead, one ninja dead. Now I just gotta get rid of that other ninja and I'll feel safe. If he wasn't up in the air, he would be dead right now. His bitch ass jumped up in the air. Also, stop trying to kill my ninja. I wasn't very smart to line those two up like that. Oh, well. Let my ninja get a turn. Stop trying to kill Melia Duel, you bitch. You bitch. It's alright. I'm gonna let my ninja get a little payback if he can. 60%? He only needs to hit him once. Got him. Suck it, ninja bitch. We should get rid of this other fucking samurai and then we're clear. Only 130? Really? Why is he only doing 130? Does he have holy fucking armor or some shit? Like, Protect and Shell are really helping him that much? Light Robe? Oh, I bet you the Light Robe. It's probably that Light Robe, dude. Maybe not. Oh, the Light Robe doesn't do shit. What am I even talking about? What? Why am I not doing shit to this guy then? Fuck you. Fuck it, I'm just gonna wake up Melly Duel now. All that's left to worry about is this other samurai, anyways. That we pretty much neutered Cletian by silencing him. He's pretty pointless for the rest of this battle. Oh, you motherfucker. Anyway, I'm gonna shell bust. No, I'm gonna Hellcry punch the fuck out of this guy right here. So he will have no sword. And I will fear no man. No Kiku Mujui for you, bitch. Kiku Moji. Um. I guess I'm just gonna just thwack this fucking. Bit. Oh my! How is he so good at dodging, even from behind? What the fuck? See why you need like extra kind of abilities to even hit people, man. This is why I'm glad I bring Orlando and Melly to duel these parties. Also, that's at one percent chance of hitting me, and it hit me. What the fuck is that shit? Kind of garbage. What kind of garbage are we are we dealing with here? The gerbiest of garbages, apparently. All right. Anyway, we're good now. I mean, this is this is in the bag at this point. I'm just being on the safe side with chakra and shit. Got it in the bag. Got it in the bag, bag, bag. Not sure why you're so good at blocking everything, girl. Maybe the feather mantle? I don't fucking know. He's cheating whatever he's doing. He's about to get his shit broke and killed. Suck it. More gold staff for you, bitch. And I'm gonna go track Cletion down and start whooping his candy ass. Sucks to be a Cletion. I don't know if this is gonna kill him in one hit or not. I don't know. Probably not, but maybe. 
No, not quite. Did pretty good damage. <gasps> His magic went up! Oh no! Whatever will I do? With all these spells he can't cast, whatever will I do? Dude, he can't even heal his silence. That is just sad, man. What a sad panda he is, dude. He's so sad. Like, silence is forever. It's it's one of those things that doesn't wear off. That's what makes it hilarious. Anyway, I'm still gonna try to kill this time mage off first. There it is. Alright. Now we can say night night to Cleech on. Wait, hold on. Where's Vormav? Where did he go? What? Where? What an odd thing to say. We came to Death City to revive our master. He slumbers in this world, in incomplete parts. Vormav is heading for the master's resting place, where his painted Jorah died. That is not the voice I gave him a minute ago. My bad. Anyway, where is that? Where? You'll have to defeat me to find out. Yeah, I know. You're gonna die either way, sir. Get fucking stabbed! Oh, I thought I was gonna miss for sure. Six hundo to the face, bitch. Anyway, shit's over. Uh, forgive me, Raphael. Hehe. <laughs> over there? <laughs> Question mark? Exclamation point? Yeah, over there. You already know. Whooping that ass, whooping that ass, breaking it down, whooping that ass, yeah. Anyway, that's what, three battles so far? Man, and we're not even done down here. I told you there's like six battles, so, man. Prepare for more, guys, prepare for more. Moron Death City has only just begun. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to cut. I might have time for one more battle, I don't know. These are going pretty fast. These are going pretty fast and pretty furious. Pretty fast, pretty furious, pretty fast. Um. Um. What do I want to do? Um. Um, um. Oh, that battle went okay, I guess. I, I, I just kind of want to stick with what I'm doing, I think. And nothing really got broken or anything right there, right? No. Alright. Keep it going. Just keep it rolling, bro. Keep it rolling. I don't know, we might have like a little bit longer of an episode here, because, you know, if there is six battles overall, then, you know, you think three and three, that's good, but I think the last two battles plus the end might take a long time, so, I don't know. We may have an abrupt cut for the end of this, like, game, like, instead of having an official, like, here intro to the final episode, I might just be abrupt, abrupt cutting, and then the next episode will be the last episode. I don't really care if that's the case, I've played this game before, so... Lost Sacred Pre Precincts. We're going to go to the underground police stations. That's cool. But anyway, yeah, I don't care. I fucking love this game. I just want to keep. I just kind of want to just beat the game right now. So, however it happens, it happens. Also, what the fuck? Now we're finding people I've seen before, but he should be dead. We just talked about this guy. Wasn't he dead? Nice to see you, kid. I was beat before, but not this time. I'll make Death City your grave. So, somehow, Bulk has survived. Fun. He didn't survive. He's an uh, he's he's a dead motherfucker. But now we gotta kill him again. So that's fun. That's fun. He's still an engineer, so he still has a gun. This battle is gonna be a little bit annoying, I think. No, fail, 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 fail. Oh, dang it! You're only prolonging the inevitable, sir. Victory will still be mine. Oh man, if I kill him now, would I just win right away? I totally could. Where's the fun in that, though? There's actually a lot of fun in it. Oh, I'm not going to kill him right away, even if I do that. Okay, well, shit. My ninja is not even strong enough to kill shit. Why do you suck, ninja? Why do you suck? What level are these fuckers? 55, 49. What the fuck? Why are you so good at not getting hit, hurt? You don't have anything that scares me. You have a glacier gun. whoop de fucking do He has a blast gun, by the way. If you didn't get any of that shit from the deep dungeon earlier, they have the other guns here in this battle. <sighs> There's not much I can do with Orlando. Most people aren't going to be able to get across that gap. I don't have a lot of people who can jump that shit. So we're going to have to go across this bridge down here. The good thing is, is Ramza can just jump on fools, so I'm probably going to be jumping on fools from over here. With Ramza. I'm a little scared of these Hydras. A little bit. Oh, man. Okay.
Okay, maybe I should be a lot a bit scared. Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Just sent my ninja into harm's way, and now he's bet you going to die. Also, ha ha! Killed your own... Oh, it's one of those where it might not even have hit my ninja. Well, he got lucky then. Also, this is our first look at a Tiamat, I think. We've only fought the orange one and the black one. The, this white-looking one is new for us, I believe. He does triple thunder. And if he doesn't hit Orlando, I'm going to laugh. And... ha ha, you missed. You suck. You suck. Yeah, you, you suck. What can we do to this fuck face? Can we don't act him right back? Nope. Can we break him? That'd be hilarious if I could fucking s just petrify his ass. Sleep him? No. Can we don't. Oh, I just tried that, didn't I? Can we. chicken him? 50% chance. Berserk him? Silence him? Uh, silence would make no sense here. Uh, blind him? Blind would be good, actually. Blind would actually be a pretty good one here if we can hit him with it. Yeah! Try to hit me now, bitch! Probably still hit me sometimes, but hey, lower percent chance. I'll take it. And there goes my ninja. I am probably going to regret sending him over there the way I did. Oh, never mind. Maybe I won't. He has survived everybody's turn except for Balk. So, if my ninja gets another turn before Balk, we'll be okay. You know what sucks ass is my fucking Ramza can't do anything because he's goddamn don't acted right off the bat. Kind of garbage. Okay, so this is the kind of battle where bringing Melia Duel actually will be pointless because she will not be able to do anything against these guys. Whatever. Lightning stab time. Say hello to my lightning stab. Boom. Ba boom. Oh my god, that was some damage right there. Beautiful, Orlando. Beautiful. Anyway, my ninja's about to get fucked. In the face. In the face. Oh my god. Really? Really? You just don't like Ramza, do you? You just hate his guts. You just hate him. Hate him. Hate him. I'm about to send my ninja down here so he can actually get healed. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to send him all the way down here. Because he's going to die no matter what I do with him. Better to move him near people who can revive him if he does die. And I can kill the Tiamat while I'm at it. So, win-win, if you ask me. Wow, okay. Apparently that black uh, Hydra or whatever is very scared. Please don't kill Orlando. Don't do it. That move has a chance of killing you automatically, so I'm scared. Okay. Ooh, actually, Beowulf can run over here. Motherfucker. I didn't realize he could reach over here. I'm glad he can, but I didn't realize he could. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh... Well, 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 well. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to try and hit this guy with something. I might be better off moving everybody together, though. I can't move fucking Ramza, though. I need to keep somebody near Ramza to be his boy. So, if I move... I need to be within... How many spaces is that? Four? One, two, three. I need to be within four spaces to hit him with anything. Okay, so... One, two, three... Ugh, four is out down there. I can put him here. Or here. Uh, I'll put him here. Hopefully I don't regret doing that. Okay, uh, what I, I was gonna try and like chicken this fucking, this guy. I don't even know how much brave he has, but I'm doing it anyways. Nice! Perfect! Beautiful! Disabled. Get out of here, you chicken shit. Alright, cool. Um, how much HP does this guy have? 195. I'm probably better off killing him first, honestly, because he's pretty strong. I don't want to deal with his shit, you know? Even though I could totally send Orlando after that other fucking Hydra, Hydra whore. Let's just get rid of that guy. We're looking pretty good, though. We got rid of that, that chemist right away, which was nice. Well, thanks to the Hydra, of course. Fucking helped us out. Maybe unintentionally, but it happened. Um, I'll take it. Alright, what's this guy gonna do now? What you gonna do now, bitch? Don't act. Eh, that's the one person I give zero shits about. So you know what? Don't act her all you want. That would only be bad if I needed the Phoenix down right now. But I don't. Right now I'm just going to keep beating down fools with my goddamn monkey boy. Monk ninja. 
how I go. God, I'm so sad I don't have my weapons. <sighs> my ninja is nowhere near as strong as he should be. Because I don't have my weapons, man. Sad panda right now, dude. So sad. I'm half tempted to reload my save, get my shit back, and not let Rofel do anything. I am half tempted to do that. Like, not even joking. I might end up... I don't know. I'm going to beat this game right now. And if I, unless I somehow have struggles with the final bosses and stuff, I'm probably just going to go with what we got. Live with the consequences of what happens, you know? Sometimes you just gotta live. You gotta roll with the punches. Live and let live. Lose all your shit and let live. No. How can you hit him from there? What the fuck? He's like under, behind a wall. What a dick. Yay, I am not don't act it anymore. That's nice. That's nice. Too bad Melia Duel is, but that's nice. Guess what that means for you? Get fucked! I don't care. That chicken's already disabled. I don't give a fuck. If that chicken lives, I don't care. I'm killing Balk. If if, if, if Ramza can land on his head, it's going to be hilarious. I'll take full credit for the awesomeness. him again if you can. Whether I hit him or not with jump is irrelevant if I keep doing this to him. Because jump's pretty much going to kill him in one hit no matter how much HP he has. And got him. Victory. Suck it. Suck it real hard, Balk. Suck my Balk. <laughs> I'm dying? I thought I'd risen over death. Ugh. 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 Not today, son. The stone is sympathizing. Don't sympathize with that dick. That way. I think what you mean is the stone is pointing you in the way of a clue. Just don't shoot clue goo all over your brother. Alright. Anyway, awesome! And you know what? That's probably a perfect place to call that an episode. Hell yeah. We may get a proper intro for the next one after all. Alright guys, in the next episode of Final Fantasy Tactics... I think we're going to finale this bitch. I think it's going to happen. So, I will see you guys then. I'm excited. Peace!